Um, and when you work that little bit out there, you find out that during that point, uh, that 705 microseconds, it appears that the muon is travelling 2.01 kilometres. If you go and hop on the muon's frame of reference and you measure that, we discussed the day before that, that the muon considers its lifespan or its half-life uh, value of 2.2 microseconds. Um, and during that 2.2 microseconds, it has enough time to travel at 0.95 the speed of light, 627 metres, 0.627 kilometres. So the muon's got time dilation, it's also got, um, it's, it sees it at 2.2, when you work that out you get different distance for both of those. One for what you perceive and one for what I'm actually um, recognising. So the distance between the same two events, the production of the decay of the muon, depends on who measures it and how they are moving relative to it. So we're going to introduce this concept called proper length. Proper length is the distance between the two points measured by an observer who is at rest to both of those points. What is the proper length of my ruler as considered for you and I, because we're both stationary at the moment? One metre. So that's our proper length. We know that that's the case. So the earthbound observer measures the proper length, L0, because the points at which the muon is produced and decays are stationary relative to the Earth. So when you do that, there's the, two, the diagram there is trying to show you that that distance there, the 2.01, is what you measure and see from the Earth. The muon, however, is travelling along, travels 627 metres and does it in 2.2 microseconds. There's different numbers involved in both of those due to the fact that the muon is travelling close to the speed of light. 